Hello, hello guys. Welcome back, welcome back. Uh, this is the Ledger support team and this is Dan. My name is Mathieu, nice to meet you. And this is Printel guys, as you know. And uh, this is the session where you can ask us any questions regarding Ledger, le or not Ledger, crypto, not crypto. Anything about financial advice will be given and mm -hmm. your doubts will be like, answered and you can go ahead. Absolutely, absolutely. So guys, if you have any questions, go ahead, drop them in the chat. We're here for about an hour. We've got a new guest on the show, so that would be Matt. Matt, do you want to say everyone. anything? Hi, yeah, so uh, yeah, don't be afraid to ask any question uh, <laughs> regarding cryptocurrencies. Ledger Advice would be really happy to help you today. Yeah, so don't be afraid of Matt, he's really <laughs> nice. He's part of the Ledger support team and exactly. Rich is here as well. And yeah, guys, like, so we'll be helping you with your questions. So go ahead, drop them in the chat and then we'll pick them up as, as they go. Princh, do we have any questions? Yeah, we have a lot. So we'll start. Okay, uh, great. First from Dimitros, uh, how can I receive Cadena or Nier? Cadena, okay. So Cadena not supported yet, guys, right? No. Mm. And uh, Nier is supported, I think. No, but I think it's not supported yet, but the support for Nier is coming soon, guys. Mm -hmm. So we'll uh, like, tweet about this on our social media channels and we uh, let the community know once it's ready. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. If you want to get in touch with the dev, if you know the Nier team or the Kadena team, you can get in touch with our devs via the Discord yeah. as well. Yeah. Um, so that's uh, de developer .support, uh, developer, ledgerdeveloper.com. Uh, cool. Next question from Brad. Uh, hello, guys. Hello, Brad. Hey, what's uh, up? Next is uh, Michael. How much ETH should I keep to transfer and to and from Ledger? And what's the best way to purchase Ethereum? Okay, uh, so transfer uh, to Ledger, uh, well, basically you, uh, you pay the fee from the sending wallet. When you receive, you don't pay anything. And uh, it, it, vast, um, yeah, it vastly depends on the congestion of the network. So you can see on Etherscan on the top left, for example, you're going to be able to see like the amount of GUI that is representing the congestion of the network. The lower, the cheaper it's going to be. So there's no fixed amount roughly, but uh, at the moment, like uh, if you have like one dollar in Ethereum, maybe one dollar, just, just to be sure, maybe <laughs> five dollar, depending on the transaction. Uh, yeah. Yeah, like just How much do you keep in your account? Uh, twenty dollar. I think you can do like uh, anything. What about with the that? Yeah. How much do you keep in your account? Hundred euros. A hundred euros mm -hmm. for just for transaction or in total for in transaction total. Okay. and for tokens. Yeah. yeah okay. That's, so that's yeah, keep some means to mm -hmm. to move your coins, especially if you do smart contract things and DeFi. Yeah. Yeah. Like the transaction get more and more expensive. So. Yeah, uh, cool. Uh, next question is from Ilias. Uh, any possible support for native crow staking in Ledger Lab? Native crow staking. So, well, I mean, of course, eventually. So we support crypto.org chain. Crypto. Uh, so Kronos will be supported in the future as well. Uh, eventually, we want to, you know, absorb all these different features and put it in Ledger Live. But of course, it's not it's not ready yet. Development takes a lot of time, especially uh, staking features, guys. We know that, like, because it needs to be secure. Um, so yeah, it's it's in progress. It will be coming. Great. Mm. Uh, next is uh, Gordon Gecko. Any update on when that constellation will be supported in Ledger Live? So I can Thank take you. this one. Yeah. Uh, so right now, they're working on the app, but it's not on the roadmap. Like when which will be actually supported by Ledger. Mm -hmm. But definitely the devs are in communication with our team, and they, it might be supported soon. We don't have any TA yet first uh, token. Cool. All right, next question. Let's um, keep that going. Next is uh, Georgie, uh, will uh, EGLD swap be available in Ledger? Which coin again? Uh, I think it's EGLD, I think it's Elrond, I guess. Ah, uh, El Elrond. Oh, oh so Elrond. Uh, e uh, yeah, Eagle, Eagle, right? EG Elrond. Elrond, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. What should, uh, you want to take on? So what was the question again? Like, uh, uh, when will the swap uh, will be available for oh, the store in Ledger? Uh, Okay, uh, no it's here at the moment. I don't think we have, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, unfortunately, we don't Therefore have... Therefore now, we uh, yeah. send, support send and receive, and, and yeah. of course, swap will be coming, but we don't have any TA yet, because uh, this takes a lot of time That's for the thing, integrations, yeah. and mm -hmm. I think maybe if we get a lot of the customer requests, we'll escalate this to our dev team, and they'll... Uh, to consider it for reviewing at least, and then we can move away from there. Absolutely. Yeah. And if you guys, if you just join the AMA, so this is a weekly AMA, we're going to do this every Thursday, so 1 p.m. CET, so that's uh, France time. Uh, if you're just joining, then you can drop your question in a thread, and yeah, we'll pick it up and we'll answer live. So keep them coming, we're here for about an hour, so let's go. Uh, next is G. Uh, can I use two accounts in Ledger Live? I'll take this one. Yes, you can use a lot of uh, accounts in Ledger Live. 
Uh, the only thing you need to know is to cr be able to create uh, another account for a certain cryptocurrency, you need to have funds in the first one. But beside mm -hmm. that, yeah, you can create two, three, four, any, virtually any uh, amount of accounts in Ledger Live. And you can change the name of accounts as well, Exactly. Right? Yeah, mm -hmm. it makes it really handy when you have like multiple uh, Ledger Nanos and multiple recovery phrases. So yeah, mm -hmm. it can keep that, keep things organized. Mm -hmm. Cool. Next is Badger. Uh, I have my Nano X for three months now uh, and still haven't got my crypto on it because I can't figure it. Out. Okay. Uh, well, I can. <laughs> well, Badger, we. Um, so I guess you're stuck at the onboarding phase. So you don't know what to do uh, with your Ledger device. What the good news is on this very YouTube channel, so the Ledger official, the official Ledger YouTube channel, there is a video, an onboarding video for Nano X users. So if you go into playlist and uh, you look for a playlist called "Getting Started with Nano X," then you'll find. A, a series of videos on how to get started with Nano X. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. If I might add, yeah, like any question at any time, contact our support team. We'd be really happy to help you getting th things sorted out. Yeah. How how yeah. how do we how do users contact us, guys? Like. Uh, so, uh, besides so, yeah. YouTube. So yeah, you can go yeah. on uh, yeah, Ledger support. Um, support.ledger.com if I'm mm -hmm. not mistaken. Mm -hmm. uh, be very careful every time you interact uh, with Ledger support to go on the website ledger.com because there's a lot of scams around. We will mm -hmm. never ask for your 24 ones. Uh, just keep that in mind. And um, yeah, so ledger, support.ledger.com and you can uh, send us an email or contact us by chat. Any question, right. we'll be happy to help. And Twitter as well, right? Yeah, yeah. Twitter or YouTube, guys. Yeah. You can drop your questions in on any video and we'll pick it up and we'll reply it as soon as we can, of course. Okay. Next is Elias again. Um, any possibilities for <coughs> Rocket Pool support within Ledger Live, similar to Lido? Okay, I can take that one. Um, so the answer is yes, we are working on it because just like a lot of people in the Ethereum community, we want to promote a healthy staking distribution because right now I think Lido is 30% of all staking, so that's quite a lot. Yeah. So yeah, we are working with the, the Rocket Pool team to bring this up into Ledger Live. So you can expect it to drop at some point in the discovery tab uh, in Ledger Live, and then you'll be able to stake uh, and get uh, RE. Uh, next is from Miguel. Uh, when crypto card in Spain? Um, well, not not soon. <laughs> Unfortunately, not soon. So we are still in beta. UK. Yeah, beta. So at this stage, we're still rolling out the card in the UK. So it's still in beta. Uh, this should be like the beta should be ending soon, but we need to finish the rollout to the waitlist UK. Then we're going to the US, then Europe. Yep. So yeah, it might take some time as well. It's uh, it's a TradFi hybrid product, so there is more red tape, so you can expect like delays. Uh, but it's coming. It's coming. Uh, next is Anil Kumar. Uh, is it safe to? Uh, is it safe? Uh, ETHW claim with MetaMask through Ledger Nano. Uh, I'm already claim, uh, so he wants to claim his ETH, ETHW, mm -hmm. and is it safe to? I'll, I'll let you take that one then. Yeah, it's it's safe to claim them. Uh, so, I was looking at the the Twitter account of the 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 official ETHPOW team, and it seems like they have issued like a secure chain ID, so it's safe to move your coins. However, there are some smart contracts on the ETHPOW network that are not safe, so I wouldn't use DeFi on ETHPOW for now move tokens, but if it's just like moving your ETH, uh, W, then you should be good. You can test with a small amount first and see how it goes, and then you'll see, but you should be fine at this point. And there is a Hub Center article yeah. uh, in the Hub Center that explains how to get your ETH uh, W. Yeah. Exactly. Next is uh, Truth and Light. Will you be listing XDC? So uh, <laughs> that's one of my favorite Fringe, communities. Uh, so XDC support <laughs> is coming soon, guys. And even though I cannot give you an ETA, but I can give it to you that it's going to be supported before the end of this year. So that is a good news. And yeah, so that, that's all we can share for now. And it will definitely be supported there. So a little patience and we are <laughs> almost there yet. Next is uh, Yuan. Uh, is the Argo app will come soon. So another favorite community of mine. Argo. Uh, so yeah, Argo app is in development, guys. Uh, there was some issue uh, on, there's some bugs which our other team is working on fixing it and once they do it uh, we try to integrate this uh, as soon as possible mm -hmm. and we are working on it we are working on it cool maybe we can reset the room real quick if yeah. you guys just join then drop your question in the thread we'll pick the question live we'll answer them live any question goes right ledger crypto yeah. personal questions maybe no. philosophical <laughs> no. philosophical questions <laughs> are good yeah 
Not financial advice, although not financial. we can give advice, but yeah. we'll disclaim it by saying not financial advice, so it's technically not a financial advice. <laughs> so we'll see. Next is uh, Matt. Thank you for support for your constant updates, talking, taking the time for doing these AMAs. Appreciate your hard work. Thanks, man. Thank you, Matt. Thank you very much. Uh, uh, Miguel, uh, thank you for your answer. Okay, welcome. Uh, You're welcome. Yeah. Next is Jim Dean. Uh, I'm having trouble swapping XLM to USDC. Uh, what am I doing wrong? XLM for USDC. Yeah. What do you guys think? Uh, which provider? Uh, yeah. Yeah, Jim, I think we need some more information like which provider are you using and are you using Pleasure Live or using some other third party app or mm. uh, if you can give us some more information we can maybe help you. Yeah, because like some providers might accept this trading pair but some other providers might not do it. Yeah. And also XLM, yeah. yeah. More next, info, please. Next is Truth and Light, thank you, welcome. Uh, Anil Kumar, uh, any, <coughs> any plan ban? Uh, Anil Kumar, you have to be more uh, specific about what kind of plan ban? Oh, Binance Swap. Okay, any plan to support Binance Swap in Ledger Life? Straight from Ledger Life? Mm -hmm. uh, not as far as I know. Uh, support Binance? The, um, Binance Swap. Ah, yeah. uh, Binance Swap. Like, pay, uh, I mean, Binance like Swap. In, in Ledger Life, yeah. As a provider, as I a guess. Provider, yeah. yeah, as a provider. Ooh, uh, yeah. That would be a nice, nice addition. Maybe we can give this feedback yeah. to yeah. our devs yeah, and they can at least... Because the current them. providers are what? So we've got FTX, we've got Changely, mm -hmm. and... Um, for internally, we got, for DeFi, we got uh, one inch. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Paraswap. Paraswap. So, so maybe what you're looking for, because Paraswap supports uh, Binance Smart Chain, Binance Smart Chain mm -hmm. right? So maybe you want to go into the discovery section in Ledger Live, mm -hmm. check Paraswap, and you know you select your Binance account at the top, they might be the pair that you're looking to swap might be there already, so check that out. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, actually I know you guys have a Discover tab that allows you to access dApps from within Ledger Live, but why not a native browser to allow us to access whatever dApps we want? Who wants to take that one? Uh, I'll take that one. <laughs> uh, so the reason for that is because the dApp that are integrated in Ledger Live in the Discover section uh, are reviewed by Ledger and um, they are safe to use basically. And by having a browser, you will go um, away from the security. Mm -hmm. Is the vision to turn like Ledger Live into a browser, like a Web3? So browser? I think it's not, so I can give you some information regarding this. Mm. So our team is working on a new project called uh, Ledger Connect, and that will allow you to use your Ledger devices on mobile and connect it directly to any third-party app mm. or any NFT marketplace without using any third-party wallet like Metamask or any third-party wallet. And we are working on this project and once it like it's internally tested right now, and soon the beta testing is going to open and with, after that you guys can also try and test it out on your end. Uh, so not a browser but a browser extension is definitely in box yes. Cool. Thanks, Prince. Um, <coughs> next is uh, Jim, uh, Jim Ding. Uh, I am using Ledger Live okay, to swap the assets. So I think Jim, uh, I think the best way to help you would be to reach us via ticket because uh, we need to see what kind of error message are you seeing right now and uh, what mm -hmm. kind of uh, crypto app you have, which Ledger Live app version you are using. So we need some kind of a uh, lot of information to, uh, to investigate mm -hmm. this issue. So best way is to uh, go to our website ledger.com and on the support tab uh, you'll find the help button which is on the bottom right corner and you click that and there are a few questions that will be asked by the bot and in the end it will uh, give you a ticket number that you can drop in the comment section after the video is published and we'll, someone will get back to you as soon as possible. Mm -hmm. Or oh, live chat, right? Uh, is live chat. Yeah, also there is a live chat. Yeah. We also yeah. have live chat so if you get if there's option between email and live chat, so if you select live chat, uh, our agent will help you on uh, resolving it as soon as possible. Cool, awesome. Uh, next is Brett. Uh, a built-in browser in live would be a great idea. Okay, thanks, Brett. We'll escalate mm. this feedback yeah. because we'll escalate it to our devs. I think in a way, I guess like Ledger Live, the v the grand vision behind Ledger Live is to turn Ledger Live into like a Web three browser kind mm -hmm. of thing, mm -hmm. where all the apps will be like cataloged and. I, I guess. Yeah, I think that's why yeah. Ledger Connect would be like first step towards yeah, it. Yeah. It will give you clear signing and mm -hmm. uh, you can do a test transactions on it to see yeah. if a smart contract is a good smart contract or a bad one. Yeah. So I think future, of course, we can, of course, escalate this feedback to our devs yeah. and they can start. And it's mobile, right? Like yeah. Ledger Connect is mobile first. Like you, like you've tested it, right? Yeah, because last yeah. right now, mm -hmm. a lot of users don't use a computer. In, mm -hmm. okay, so they use a phone and then it's better to easy just connect your phone to the device and then just to the, any third party app. And it's going to be completely safe because it's going to be showing all the transaction data mm. for confirming the transaction. And so yeah, that's it's coming soon, but no ETA yet, but soon. Cool. So. <laughs> Next is Daniel, can Ledger uh, be incorporated into OpenSea NFTs? Um, oh, so OpenSea support for Ledger Live. But do you oh, have any news? Uh, no, I don't have any information on that. And like, uh, but yeah, definitely something that'd be great to have. Yeah. Like, I think it's coming. It's it's probably one of the projects, like the DAP projects. 
uh, it's coming eventually. So I know sure. how Red Rebel is going to come on mm. Nature Life. So after Red Rebel movie, so mm. it's going to be open sea mm. as well. Mm -hmm. So, but Red Bull will be only for ETH at the beginning, and then maybe future it will support yeah. blockchains. And yeah. in case you're wondering in the audience, like you can also connect your Ledger device directly to OpenSea, yeah. like on yeah. the web, right? Like outside of Ledger, like of course it's it's still secure. Like in general, if you don't share your twenty four word recovery phrase, like you can plug your Ledger device anywhere. It's it will never like share your private keys with any apps, so it's perfectly safe to use it outside Ledger Live. But of course, we understand that people like mm -hmm. to have things in Ledger Live. It feels more secure. Yep. Uh, next again from Daniel. Can Ledger be incorporated into Facebook VR Meta Oculus Quest apps? Oof. Ooh, meta Quest questions. We need uh, ice and uh, on this call here. Uh, well, I mean, I don't think Meta is a crypto metaverse. That's the thing, right? They don't. Mm -hmm. uh, do they actually support NFTs and things like that? I've never. I don't know. Tried. I don't think so. Yeah, it's more like yeah. Sandbox would be first. I'd say. Uh, uh, yeah, but uh, Meta now. Uh, what is Sandbox, man? What is Sandbox? Uh, so basically, yeah, like uh, it's uh, it's a really wild, uh, wild world. Uh, yeah, metaverse basically. Like we can mm -hmm. we can describe it like that, where you can ha have in NFTs basically interact with a, a big community. So. Yeah. Know, yeah. Play to earn kind yeah. of play to earn. Yeah. Same kind of gaming, but then you get paid in NFTs and rewards for playing right. that game. Exactly. And Ledger is in Sandbox now. We yeah, have a school, school, right? Yes. So yeah. there is a piece of land that we have bought, guys. And if you have not checked it out, you can log into Sandbox and we have a central article on how to connect your device to Sandbox. And you can play these games. It's a quest. It's about security and how you can use your nano. Mm -hmm. And if you pass it, you'll get an NFT as a reward. So please check it out. Yeah. And next is uh, Brett again. Uh, can I? Can we change the graph to candles in Ledger Live? Uh, to candle? No, we no, can't. Candle. I think it's just a line chart. Mm -hmm. But yeah. uh, that would be cool, actually. Yeah. I think people love uh, candles. Mm -hmm. yeah, I mean, what, usually people who are doing trading and all, I think yeah. them, it's a mm -hmm. good, good way to... But I think we can escalate this feedback yeah. and maybe in future... Definitely. Days. Well, let's collect Brett. Next is uh, Lulu Ju Lulu. Uh, ETA for onboarding XTC and HBAR. Thank you. So, the, uh, <laughs> XDC uh, support is coming soon, as I just uh, told a few minutes back. That's before end of this year. And HPR is already supported, so you can already create an HPR account. Uh, create an HPR account via a third party app called Hashpad because they have worked on a certain kind of protocol which Ledger doesn't support. And once you created that uh, account, you can just import the same account in Ledger. And, but it will be secured by a Ledger device, so you don't have to worry. And we have a help center article, so if you just go on support and type HBAR, you'll see a video tutorial and an article explaining how to add this account in Ledger. Mm -hmm. Is this support on mobile as well? I think it is. Yes. Yeah. It is, it is okay. supported on mobile as well. Cool. Um, okay, Daniel. Uh, for Meta, it can be accessed as an external web link through Unreal Engine and Unity development platforms. Yeah. Okay, I think we can share this feedback. We can share. I think we, we open to work with any projects really, yeah. but it's like it's more like do we have the internal resources to launch a project, right? And also like does Meta want to work with us because maybe they have their own projects. But eventually I believe like all these different separated worlds will collide and inter interconnect. So I'm not too worried, but it might take time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Uh, next question is from Amy. Oh, sorry, Amun. Mm -hmm. Uh, mm -hmm. My Nano X is uh, shutting down frequently since few weeks sometime and I have to reconnect few time to approve a transaction. Mm -hmm. Do you know a solution for this? Thanks. It sounds like a battery issue, I mean, yeah. if, if the, the device... Yeah. Uh, Definitely. So, yeah, please send us a message and, uh, yeah, as, as we mentioned earlier, on the spot, contact, get in touch with our support. To, they'll, have, uh, they'll ask for more information about mm -hmm. your device and troubleshooting steps. And uh, yeah, we, we'll take care of that. Yeah, if it's not fixed, uh, we'll replace the device if there's a physical defect. And yeah. don't have to worry, just reach out to our team via ledger.com, yeah. support tab, help button on the bottom right corner. We know it's a little difficult to find, guys, and we are working, <laughs> on, working on improving it so it's more, uh, yeah. more easy to find. And yeah, you can, can reach out to our team and then we'll send you a new device in case there's some physical mm -hmm. defect with the device. Or also we support you with the troubleshooting steps. Yeah, okay. Prince, can you reset the room real quick? Yeah, just in so case. guys, uh, if you just tuned in now, uh, this is a Ledger Ask Us Anything session. Uh, we are from Ledger Customer Service Team and we do this every week on Thursdays. Uh, so if you guys have any questions regarding to crypto, Ledger, NFTs, blockchains, uh, please ask us and we'll help you. And we'll not scam you, so we'll try to protect <laughs> you. And that's why we are here. So How do you tell a scammer from the real support? Uh, so real support will never ask for your 24 word seed phrase, first mm -hmm. of all. Second, he will never DM you because that's our policy, we never DM anyone. So mm -hmm. everything is only discussed on open public thread. Mm -hmm. And I think the third one would be no phone support. Yeah. We don't have, we don't use phone. And uh, fourth is fourth one. 
Yeah, no Google Forms. We don't send any Google Forms <laughs> to anyone, guys. Anyone sending Google Forms to you is a scammer. So please don't, mm -hmm. don't do this. And next is GUI. Uh, again, when XTC such, uh, such a great coin. <laughs> XTC is coming soon. GUI. Yeah, it's going to be supported before end of this year. Yes. Yeah. It's supported as like an app first, right? But not yeah. in Ledger Live, just to be Yeah, clear. native integration will not come for now. Mm -hmm. uh, you can be able to manage it via Ledger device, but not inside Ledger Live, but maybe next year it will be mm -hmm. integrated mm -hmm. in Ledger There is a third-party wallet. It's, its name ex escaped me right now, but I think it's the Synfin Network. Okay. Like uh, third-party third wallet. Third wallet. Yeah, yeah. And you can connect your device. And we'll, of course, we'll give you articles and instructions on how to manage that. So don't, don't worry. Once it's supported, we'll help you out on managing your funds mm -hmm. and safely and securely. Follow us on Twitter. We have a Twitter account, so ledger underscore support on Twitter. Just be careful on Twitter because tons of scammers and fake accounts, so just make sure you don't interact with those. Um, and you can you can follow us and we'll update the community whenever those apps are released. So yeah, just stay tuned. Exactly. Uh, next is... <coughs> sorry guys, my voice is a little loud. It's okay. Sorry. Uh, whole coin, if ledger supports... Uh, Will Ledger support Richard Hart's new Pulse Chain project? Pulse so, Chain, I th yeah, right. It's yeah. We are going to support mm -hmm. Pulse Chain, mm -hmm. and the app is currently under development. And once the, I think the network is also still not not launch, launched yet, so mm -hmm. once it is done, we will be coming up with more information close to that. Pulse Chain, that's the hex, uh, the hex community, mm -hmm. very passionate. Uh, Amu, oh, okay, okay, thanks, guys. Okay, yeah, we will replace the device if anything goes wrong. Uh, no next is Ankit. What is the best way for a newbie to explore more on Ledger? So Oof, that's a big question. A yeah, the yeah. Ledger Academy, I'd say. Yeah, let's do a roundtable here. So yeah, course. personally, yeah. like the Ledger Academy, like you can learn a lot mm -hmm. of things. Like uh, there's a wide array of subjects, going from beginner to mm -hmm. intermediate. Like lots of uh, lots of things to learn there. Uh, our sport page as well are really good. Like uh, help center, yeah, <laughs> the help center, the academy. For me, that's really the. The best resources with us. Yeah. Well. Yeah, what about you, Prince? What do you uh, I'm not a big fan of reading, guys. So I like to go to YouTube, and we have a lot of uh, tutorials that explains how to use Ledger with different DeFi NFTs or different tokens mm -hmm. using different third-party wallets with your Ledger device. What is safe? What is not safe? All safe mm -hmm. links and. I think yeah, that's yeah. The yeah. Best way to and of course you can catch up our AMAs as well because we do quite a lot of AMAs. Yeah. So we've got this one on YouTube. Now it's weekly, one to two p.m. Uh, CET, so French time, every single week. We're also on Twitter, so five p.m. CET every week on Fridays. On Reddit, we'll be on Reddit later today, right? Mm -hmm. uh, Four p.m. CET. So there is tons of ways to catch us up and to just interact with us. So yeah, just tune in, and this is how you can learn about crypto and podcasts, like, right? As well. Uh, next is. Sean, uh, he's asking about Ergo. So Ergo is in works, guys. Um, no ETA yet, but it will be supported soon in future, definitely. Mm. Uh, next is QDS. Uh, will you offer a solution to do DCA, not just in BTC, uh, but mm. also ETH directly in Ledger Lab? Right. Well, this, this is one already, right? Uh, that yeah. we recently incorporated, yeah. so in uh, the discovery section. Uh, the name is Alchemy. No, stacking. No. Uh, stacking stacks. Stacking stacks. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. So yeah. So you can already do some DCA from there. Mm. Uh, but it's only Bitcoin, right? It's only for yeah, Bitcoin. Yeah. yeah. At the moment. Also for ETH. Yeah. So ETH mm. for ETH, we don't have any. Yeah, yeah at least. Plans yeah. On the roadmap. But yeah. We can escalate this feedback to our devs. Definitely. I think people from other community they can mm -hmm. they can join us and they can talk to us with our devs yeah. and they can maybe integrate in future. I think if you want to buy crypto from Ledge Live, I mean, there are like tons of options in the discover section. I like to use MoonPay, for example. Like, mm. I mean, you have to pay, of course, you, you have to pay a fee for sure. It's a service, but um, the fee is reasonable and it's delivered really quick to directly into your Ledger uh, accounts. So that's what I like about MoonPay. And also there is tons of options. So you can go into the, the discover section and you just go shopping. You just compare the rates and whichever rate looks good to you, then you select that one and then you start this thing like that. It's not automated, but at least it's better than just go through an exchange and do the whole like sending coins over. Yeah, and if you don't want to do KYC, there are also decentralized uh, platforms mm -hmm. from where you can connect your ledger device yeah. directly and buy the assets and it will straight to transfer mm -hmm. to your ledger account. And you don't have to go to KYC, so it's like completely private and <laughs> anonymous. With it. Yeah. Okay, next is uh, ECB Wong. Uh, for staking in liquid staking, can we lose coins through hacking or are we still in control of our coins? Okay. Do you want to take that one? Yeah, I'll yeah. take that one. Uh, mm -hmm. So, on. yeah, basically, like when you're staking, you're putting the coins in a contract. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, you're still um, trusting the quality of the contract, basically. And, uh, yeah, the coins are, you have like, um, how to say, like, um, 
when you stay, they give you like, for example, with a Lido, you g you have STETH in exchange. Mm -hmm. So uh, mm -hmm. while you're in control of those STETH, that you can then swap for ETH at any time. Yeah. If you want to add anything on that. Uh, no, I think that was yeah. pretty. Good. I mean, you you can't get hacked and unless like the smart contract like breaks down. Mm -hmm. That's one risk. But it's not you being hacked. It's just a smart contract being badly engineered. STE has been around for a long time, so I would say like they're probably pretty good. Uh, and that's what they're in Ledger Live, by the way. Uh, I think oh, the way you can get hacked is by giving away your 24-word recovery phrase, right? That's the way anyone can hack you uh, because anyone that has access to your recovery phrase will be able to have access to your accounts and just drain your accounts. So again, like guys, if you just joined, if there is one thing you need to remember, like never share your 24-word recovery phrase, we'll never ask you for it, Ledger will never ask you for your phrase. If uh, an account asks you for your phrase, they're trying to scam you, and that's that. Yep. Yeah, so I think to briefly like, summarize, like only two ways you can lose your assets even having Ledger is like, I think three things that can happen. This first is you imported a seed phrase from other wallet, mm. like online wallet, software wallet. Second is you sign a malicious smart contract, and but that will only affect the address which was used to sign the transaction, not your entire crypto. And third would be losing your, like sharing your 24 word seed phrase with anyone, and that mm -hmm. would be putting yourself at risk. So don't do that, guys, please. Yeah. Uh, what okay, truth and light? Uh, what coins do you guys hodl the most? Round table. <laughs> Round table. <laughs> All right. Okay, I'll start. Uh, <laughs> I'm a big fan of ETH and uh, got some BTC because uh, well, uh, yeah, I like both actually and um, mm -hmm. yeah, some some tokens as well from but yeah, mo <laughs> mostly ETH. Yeah, I'd say ETH. Yeah, pretty sure. Big really. fan. For me, I like staking coins. So for yeah. me, I have Cosmos, Cardano, uh, Polkadot, maybe and Solana, of course. Ethereum mm -hmm. and Tezos? Bitcoin, some USDC just to cover my profits and yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's it. For now there's no profit, it's just going <laughs> down, but then we can have it for the price to come, so let's see. They'll come, they'll come. <laughs> for me it's like as well, like I like Ethereum, so ETH, uh, Bitcoin as well, because like I see Bitcoin as an insurance against Ethereum failing. That's the way I think about my, my Bitcoin stack. Uh, and I like Solana as well as like I've got a, a small Solana position and like a few NFTs I guess like like everyone and uh, I think stacking like like staking is really good like you, you made a good point French like staking like you put your money to work and I also like buying US dollars I guess like you know some of my pay like USD, USDC for example okay. like I like converting euros because euros is not doing great right now but uh, so I like converting some of my euros into US dollars um, yeah Okay, next is uh, Sean, uh, Flux question mark, so I think he's referring to will we support Flux in the mm. future. So I, we don't have any uh, thing for plan for in the roadmap for Flux for now, but maybe if Flux community devs wants to build an app for Ledger, they can do it and they can do it by reaching us on by our developer portal and our Discord channel, of course, and maybe in future they might, we might support this token mm -hmm. project. Okay. Next is Busto again, uh, hello, can I store Aster in Ledger, it's a parachain on Polkadot, thank you. Mm, parachain, you can probably store it, I guess, but it depends if there is an app, right? Yeah, no. we cannot, uh, like, of course, well, you can send mm. it once and you can store it, but then you won't be able to move it yeah. again because there is no mm. app so, uh, which is ready for it yet. First two parachains that will support are, I think, uh, Akala and Karena. I don't, ah, yeah, like maybe two of them, and mm. then more will come, but we, we're building apps for different, mm. because mm. You can't use the Polkadot app to sign transactions for these parachains. Mm. It's not supported yet, but support for parachains is coming soon, guys. Yeah. Next is Patit Fresher, French guy. It's a French name, so I'm sorry if I'm not seeing correct. Uh, <laughs> when would be able to use Ethereum blockchain with Ledger? Ethereum blockchain with Ledger? Well, you can well, already yeah. use it. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I think this is regarding the new bug that has been seen, visual bug. Oh, um, so right. Okay. Oh, well, yes. so if you go into the my ledger section, mm -hmm. X manager section in Ledger Live, basically uh, there is a display bug there. If you select the Ethereum app, it will say, "Oh, you need to use a third-party wallet." But in fact, this is just a bug. Um, you can create a Ledger Ethereum account in Ledger Live, no problem. This is just like you can ignore this message, um, no problems. Okay. Uh, next is uh, Gerald William. Uh, then dedicated iPad for Ledger Live. iPad, yeah. Um, it's in the works, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, like, uh, mm. it's in the works. No it here, uh, I think, mm. because, yeah, that'd be great. But, uh, yeah. yeah, I think we have a right now. We just launched a new Ledger Live version from a while where we got a lot of yeah. upgrades and we changed the entire 
like the look of mm-hmm. the app. So I think once we uh, like everything is sorted out with the mobile mm-hmm. app, the next thing we we'll move to iPad and tablet. Yeah. But for now, we don't have any gear because it's not on the roadmap. Oh, no. There's two way, like two play, two devices where you can't really use the drive right now, right? It's like iPad because it's not designed for it. it might work, but it could it might be janky. Very buggy, yeah. Yeah, very buggy. And like uh, uh, Chrome OS as well. Like yeah. Chrome Chrome OS, you just can't use the drive on it. And now processors also. Yeah, I'm uh, one like I'm uh, Mac. I'm yeah, right. To use a special sort of processor. Processor, yeah, yeah. Mm, correct. And guys, if you could give us like a quick feedback on the sound, because we have one mic which is like smack in the middle of the three of us, but we don't know if the sound is loud enough, basically. So we'd like like a little feedback. And if you like the AMA as well, <laughs> just let us know so we can improve the the show. Okay. Uh, next is Rick. Uh, when will we be able to stake Ada on Ledger Live? Ah, uh, interesting. Ooh, when? Oh, no. When yeah. staking? When staking? staking. <laughs> you want to take so, on? for now, we just introduced uh, like native support for Cardano in Ledger Live. Yeah. And we are working on supporting the Cardano staking. And uh, let me check if I can find what is the tentative scheduling for this. Keeping in mind that all ETAs are not, ETAs are not promises, guys, right? They're just like a guess on when a feature might be shipped, but it takes one bug to push back like a month a feature because we're not issuing features until they're super secure. So, um, Rich? Yeah, I think uh, the work has started already. So maybe before end of this year, it could be supported in mm. your life. So then you don't need to use any third party to stake your Cardano. You can directly mm. do it via Ledger Life. Yeah, um, look, there is a video that's gonna drop, I think today on this channel on how to stake Cardano on mobile via Yoroi. So if you're interested in that, you just stay tuned and subscribe to the channel and you'll get the video very soon. Okay, uh, Christoph, why isn't HBAR fully integrated in le- into Ledger? It takes time, that's, that's, that's the answer. It takes time to develop feature like a UX that's safe and also like that makes sense for most users. And of course security, right? Like I mean, HBAR is a complicated uh, network and so the staking feature will take time to ship. It's in progress. We're working on it. It will come to Ledger Live, but of course, you know, development software takes time. Um, so so yeah. I think HBAR is almost integrated fully, but mm-hmm. of course, the new features will take time because taking in all the different mm-hmm. protocols and we need to design the app and make it more secure for the user. So security is paramount for us. And unless until it's secure, we won't support the feature. Mm-hmm. Yep. Next is A. Uh, can you please make a distinction between custodial and non-custodial staking, like Cardano, compared mm-hmm. to Ethereum? Okay, I can I can try. So cust- I always like confuse the two. Um, custodial would be an exchange keeps your private keys. So for example, you have your coins on an exchange wallet like Binance. And so basically that means that Binance controls your coins because they have the private keys. So if Binance goes bankrupt or they refuse to give you your coins back for any reason, then you don't have the coins. Uh, non-custodial would be like you have the private keys to your accounts. And this is what we bring at Ledger, right? This is the whole point of having a Ledger wallet where you can store your own private keys. Of course, it comes with responsibilities. The main one being like secure your recovery phrase because the recovery phrase is the key to all your accounts. So if anyone gets your recovery phrase, then they'll be able to access your private keys and spend from your accounts. So please, please guys, like keep your recovery phrase safe. It's super important. Yep. That covers it nicely. Uh, next question, uh, Jeffrey, uh, will Filecoin be added to the Ledger Live mobile wallet? You guys know. Uh, so Falcon is gonna be. It's supported be, on yeah, desktop. And, yes. and desktop mm-hmm. is so supported. Once it's supported on desktop, I guess. guys. All the supported apps move to mm-hmm. mobile soon, but yeah. then mobile takes time, and it has a different uh, infrastructure, and we have to make an app that supports that. So it's 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 come it's gonna come soon, but the, no. Yeah. Does Falcon has staking, or is it just like send and receive kind of thing? It's only send and receive. Send and receive. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. So. Uh, next is uh, Rick. Uh, my Nano X generated two different receiving address for Digibyte. Is this normal? Yes, it's normal. So Digibyte is a fork of Bitcoin. So it's it has the uh, UTXO system basically. So Bitcoin, ADA, Litecoin, Zcash, all these blockchains. After each successful tra- each successful transaction, your deposit address will change. It will give you a new one. Don't worry, you can send to an old address. Your funds are safe. Ledger Live will do the accounting in the background and just like keep in mind where you know your coins are. So it's perfectly safe. If I might uh, add on mm-hmm. that, the reason why your new address is generated is for uh, privacy reasons. Mm-hmm. So that way, like people can trace your transactions. Yeah. Um, maybe a quick reset of the room, Prince. Yeah, so guys, this is uh, Ledger Ask Us Anything session with Ledger Customer Service Team. We work for customer service in Ledger and help you guys 
uh, behind the scenes, but now this is like more new service which we're offering. <laughs> so if you guys have any questions regarding crypto, ledger, anything, you can ask us in the some comment section and then we'll pick it up and reply live on the session. Yeah, we're here for another 20 minutes. Yeah. Yep. Uh, next is Gerald. Uh, thank you. Thank you, Gerald. Uh, Patik, Fisher, <laughs> thank you for your answer. Welcome. No worries. Gerald, it's great. I can hear all so the voices. Oh, cool. Yeah. Thanks, man. Thank you. <laughs> uh, strictly sports. I'm kind of confused on how Ledger incorporate with MetaMask. I just got two uh. Ledger Nano S, uh, Ledger Nano S Plus, but not sure what the pro versus cons of connecting it to existing MetaMask wallet or do you want me to connect? Connecting it to existing MetaMask wallet or do you n not want me to connect to MetaMask? Oh. Uh, I'll take that one. So yeah, um, no, you should um, first of all create your wallet in Ledger Live, mm -hmm. and then import it in MetaMask. Uh, because the way it works is like MetaMask is gonna create a 12 word recovery phrase uh, online. So depending on the security of your computer or not, it can be compromised. Um, mm -hmm. With a Ledger Nano, you create it offline your 24 word recovery phrase. Now every account that you're gonna create on Ledger Live is gonna be uh, secure. And, uh, but the account that you are created on MetaMask might not be. Uh, so we have a good article um, on our help center about how to import your Ledger Live account in MetaMask. And mm -hmm. uh, so yeah, you can see that because it's going to be in MetaMask in your accounts. Um, if you go in the list of your accounts, you're going to see a small uh, ledger if you successfully imported it. Right. And yeah, that's paramount because otherwise your account, uh, your MetaMask account is not going to be secure. Right. Secure and by importing, we don't mean like typing your recovery phrase into MetaMask, right? Exactly. We just need mm -hmm. connecting your accounts, in Meta like connecting your ledger device to MetaMask so you can see your ledger Ethereum account or like a different blockchain mm -hmm. in the MetaMask interface. But you don't have to, right? I mean, like if you, it's optional. It's for okay. some coins, like, yeah. right? Um, okay, next question is from Gerald again. Uh, when will USDC be fully interoperable with Stellar? In other words, sending uh, on USDC on Stellar blockchain. Is it not supported? I think it is supported. I, I think, think it is, right? Yeah, yeah, I think. It's a new feature, I yeah. think. Yeah. Uh, yeah, speaking, so yeah, from Ledger Live Mobile 3.5 above, uh, you can mm. now send, send uh, Stellar on USDC on Stellar Network. But uh, just to be sure, just try a small test amount first before trans transferring the entire big amount. So to be sure mm -hmm. that you're transferring it correctly. And if you have faced any issues, you can reach out to us and we'll help you. Right, right. It. It's a trust line, no? Like the, the system? I th uh, I do, I'm not very familiar okay. with Okay, yeah. yeah. Well, never mind. Uh, next is uh, APZ. Why does it take so many refreshes on my iPhone to verify come a confirmed transaction? If I click on Explore and had more than 70 confirmations, and only after 10 refreshes, it works. I think you can you can adjust the number of confirmation before Ledger Live will show you the transaction. So if you go into experimental features or accounts, I mean in the settings, if you go explore in the settings somewhere, there is an option. Um, I think it's called accounts, and then under accounts, you can select whichever accounts you're talking about, and then you can select the number of confirmation required before Ledger Live will be able to detect the transaction and show it to you. So yeah, that's something you can change. Maybe not all the different blockchains and accounts, mm -hmm. but uh, I'm pretty sure like Bitcoin has that. Probably Ethereum, if not all the accounts. Uh, Strictly Sports, like, is Ledger its own wallet, so does not have to be connected to MetaMask? Yes. Yeah. That's definitely correct. Now, Ledger, when you use a Ledger device, you have to own 24 words uh, seed phrase or recovery phrase, as we call it, mm -hmm. and that is completely separate from MetaMask. So you just can connect it to your Ledger Live app, and we support a lot of blockchains and a lot of tokens. So you can manage them directly. If there are some unsupported tokens, then only you can connect it to MetaMask mm -hmm. and add it as a custom token so you can at least see them unless until we support it in Ledger Live. And Prince, is it safe to connect your Ledger device to MetaMask? It is safe to connect your Ledger device to any third-party wallet, including MetaMask, because your private keys are still secured by the device and mm -hmm. you're only using the interface, like you're using the Ledger Live interface, you're using MetaMask interface to manage and transactions. Basically. Cool, awesome. Uh, next is a lot of questions. Nice. Uh, <laughs> Thank you guys. We love questions. Good. Go for it. Uh, Max, uh, will DAG ever be supported on Ledger Live? The answer is yes, but the ETA, we don't know. <laughs> uh, next is uh, ACES. <clears throat> when will I be able to access my uh, Nano Ledger S content on my iPhone? Oh, well, you can if you have an Android. Uh, oh, iPhone. Yeah, iPhone. Uh, uh, no. Not not Unfortunately, no, no because mm -hmm. the iPhone has a lightning restrictions mm -hmm. on the port, so that doesn't support the Nano S. But you can use a Nano X and connect it via Bluetooth. So if you want to connect use it with your phone, yeah. the best way to use it on Ledger Nano X rather than Nano S. And you can yeah. always use Nano X as a backup in case your main device doesn't work properly. So it's good to have two devices. I have like four devices, but 
<laughs> as a ledger support uh, employee. Employer who tested for you. So yeah, for now you can't use it with iPhone, but Nano X is the only device that can com yeah. compatible with iPhone. It's good to have a backup in case yeah. your first device like dies. Yeah, that's true. And it's like you can use the same 24 volt seed phrase mm -hmm. and then import it into the new device, and then you have access to the same accounts that for you managing with your current device. Next is Mitty Dubs Strictly. This is because you used to be not be able to actually see your NFTs previously on Ledger Live, and you need to have. <coughs> ETH wallet connected to MetaMask to see them. Yes, that's correct. Mm -hmm. But now mm -hmm. support uh, ETH NFTs in Ledger Live, so yeah. you don't need to use a MetaMask for that. Yeah, there's two ways to see your NFTs, right? Like in your account, or you can use the Rainbow.me uh, app in the Discover tab as yeah. well. Also, Zerion, also there's another Discover tab called yeah. Zerion now in Discover, <laughs> and that also shows like, all the NFTs and uh, different chains. Next is uh, Richie Rich. Uh, can we increase the decimal points of the crypto instead of four decimal points only? Thanks. Uh, oh, yeah. I don't think we can change the decimal mm. points, but we can change the unit. Uh, so, for example, instead mm. of BTC, you can use SATs mm -hmm. and uh, yeah. METH. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, in the settings of your of the specific account, you can uh, choose that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, next is how is the ledger related to QSI and QFS? QSI. Yeah. I'm not sure what QSI, QSI is. Maybe you can. Like rephrase the question. Yeah, uh, and then if you could define. Ref like rephrase the question yeah. and yeah. give us some more information because we are not uh, technical devs, so yeah. you know like a lot of things, but not too much dev related yeah. stuff. <laughs> uh, QBS. Uh, when will Apple buy Ledger? Hopefully, Ledger will buy Apple. That's yeah. the goal. That's <laughs> yeah, that's the goal. <laughs> Strictly supports uh, Smitty, so I don't need to connect it to MetaMask to use my Ledger. No, you do not no. need to use. You can connect it to your Ledger Live app, which is the app divided. Uh, on made by our company and you can safely manage your funds without using MetaMask mm. and you don't need to use it. MetaMask is really if you want to use a dApp that's outside Ledger, uh, Ledger Live or like if you receive a token that's not supporting Ledger Live so you won't be able to see it in Ledger Live but you can connect your account to MetaMask and MetaMask will let you add a custom token and you'll be able to see it. So really that's the the only reason to use MetaMask at this point but eventually we're bringing new tokens into Ledger Live all the time so yeah. Um, yeah, we've got 15 more minutes. Uh, okay, mm, lots of questions. I Okay, uh, Richie Rich again. Uh, sorry, first is Patit. Uh, are private keys uh, with Ledger stored in Ledger servers? Oh, no. no. No, no, they are stored locally <laughs> on your device on the secure element. Yeah, uh, sure. yeah no, they are never, never, ever yeah. shared online. Like, it we stays very locally in your device. It's only in your device that yeah. holds the private keys. Mm. None of the servers. That's why, if even if something happens to your accounts, we don't have any access yeah. to those stores. We don't know. That's why we are always asking information from you rather than mm. doing things on yeah. our side because we don't have access to them. It's super important, I think, this concept. Like, Ledger could go bankrupt tomorrow. Like, you'll be fine as long as you have your year recovery phrase, right, then then you're good, which you should never show to people like I'm doing right now, but, um, so yeah. It's not like slope. You guys remember the slope thing where yeah. they were copying like private keys to the server? We don't do that. Yeah, if I might add, um, yeah, your recovery phrase is gonna be generated offline in a secure mm. element. So yeah, once you have written it down on uh, on a paper or anything, I recommend a crypto still because it's really re more reassuring to have something of uh, steel mm. rather than paper. Uh, yeah, like basically you only need it to yeah like for a backup device to restore your device or anything but uh, yeah never ever share it to anyone okay next is kevin will xtc supported on ledger yes before end of this year uh next is uh EB ebc wong uh thanks for your answer welcome you're next you're is welcome mate. daniel Fulga. your video is not working or oh, could you explain like, what exactly is wrong with the video uh, and which video you're referring to first uh yeah because we we have tons of video is it the live uh, yeah, it's a little bit more uh, clear, clear on this one Next is Ethereum staking means handing over custody to state pool. With Cardano staking, you never uh, send the custody of your assets. This is a very important distinction. The way ETH doesn't does isn't universal. So uh, I think before it was like that because the Ethereum layer two chain was not launched. Like the merge merge was not happening, and then mm -hmm. you had to stake it via third party uh, services like Lido or Pool. Yeah, yeah. But now since the merge, you can directly if you have thirty two ETH, you can always take your ETH directly. Uh, using the third party app and i think then you'll have some more information yeah no 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 you you said it i think that the layer two is slightly different because like they are layer two right now on ethereum mm -hmm. but like as you said like now since the merge like ethereum is 
proof of stake, pure proof of stake, which means that anyone can stake as long as you have 32 ETH and you can do it natively. So you don't have to go via Lido. Although Lido is super useful, like if you have less than 32 ETH, because 32 ETH is quite a lot of money, not everybody has it. But if you have less than that, then you can go via Lido and you know they'll pair you with people that have more ETH. Uh, so yeah. Okay, next is Strictly Sports. Uh, okay, so connecting my ledger to MetaMask wallet will add ledger security to my MetaMask. So the answer is no, it will not. Mm. Uh, you have to set up the device and then just connect it and then it will just show you the same ledger accounts which mm -hmm. you see in Ledger Live in MetaMask. So it won't protect your existing MetaMask wallet. Mm -hmm. So best way is to set up the device, create new Ethereum ledger account, transfer all your assets from your MetaMask Ethereum account to Ledger Ethereum account and then you can connect your device to MetaMask if you want to and you can manage the funds and then without importing the seed phrase, there's no seed phrase important. Mm. And print, should people like type their MetaMask, import the Meta, sorry, their MetaMask recovery phrase into your Ledger device? Mm, not only MetaMask, any third party mm. wallet a seed phrase should never be imported inside Ledger device because that defeats the purpose of having a device. Mm. Yeah. Uh, because that seed phrase is generated online and if you're if it gets compromised online, then you never know like how can your funds can easily be drained on even having the ledger device won't protect you. Well said. Uh, next is uh, Jerry Charles. Are you guys planning on supporting Volt Inu? Okay. Volt Inu. That's a new Inu coin. Yeah. There is tons of them. Um, it is probably a NERC uh, ERC twenty token, yeah, I guess. Yes, yeah. We migrated from the old contract to the new. I think. Oh, uh, there's been a well. Uh, so yeah. pretty just checking. It is supported, but uh, it's supported on the Binance and it's supported on Ethereum. Yes, cool. It is, it is supported, guys. So just try sending a small test amount first, just to be sure. And once you see the amount in Ledger Life, you can transfer the rest of it. Cool, ones. awesome. Uh, Daniel again. Uh, when I switch different app on iPhone, the second the sound comes back. When I re-enter YouTube channel, both sound and video are not working. That is strange. Um, we'll we'll rewatch the the stream I think yeah. afterwards and we'll try to figure out what what's happening. Uh, so can I use uh, MetaMask and Ledger with my Android? So no. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Yeah. No, MetaMask is not. Uh, it's yeah, not supported like on mobile yet. Uh, the team are working with Ardi, so soon it will be supported, mm -hmm. and you can connect your yep. device directly via Bluetooth. I think for the now. Bluetooth is coming. Uh, just guys, just give us a little feedback on if the video is still available because we don't have direct feedback uh, if the stream is still yeah. uh, good quality and if there is any like just just let us know so we know how to make okay. the, the experience uh, better richie rich i have cloned an elipal wallet with my ledger nano 24 word seed elipal is 12 word seed um, seed wallet but it can still accept 24 word seed after uh, i cloned it on my xrp address were different between nano s and elipal I'm not sure I understand the question. Like he clo he imported. Ah, he's what? saying I clone my Elipil wallet with my Ledger Nano S 24 word seed. Elipil oh. is a 12 word seed wallet, but it can also accept 12 24 word seed. So he imported. I oh, his seed. Ledger phrase inside the. Yeah, I guess oh. he imported. So and then after I cloned it, my XRP address were different between my Nano and my Elipil, and that will be because of the mm. derivation part. Could be, yeah. Mm. But like importing your. Ledger recovery phrase into your hot wallet is really not recommended because you defeat the purpose of, I mean, it's, yeah, you shouldn't do it basically, or at least you should create new accounts with your Ledger device, like a new recovery phrase, and those will be your Ledger accounts because if you start putting your Ledger 24 word recovery phrase into your hot wallet, if someone has access to your computer, they might be able to see that recovery phrase and have access to your Ledger accounts as well. So. Be very, very careful. In general, the only place where you want to type your 24-word recovery phrase is inside the device, nowhere else. Okay, um, A, I've never uh, success using PGP with either Nano S or X as it keeps failing. Is this a known issue? PGP, um, I'm not sure actually. So A, could you let mm -hmm. us know what more about what PGP you're referring to so maybe we can give you a more accurate answer to this? Is it like the signature, like checking the, um, yeah, the signature? So, yeah, yeah. yeah mm -hmm. there's an app available for that. Oh uh, yeah, mm. more, more details would be great. Yeah, like. yeah. Uh, when can we get Hydro Whales Minting Club branded ledger device? <laughs> get uh, in touch. Yeah, like, we'll uh, do it. Yeah, we like we launched this uh, NFT marketplace called Ledger Market. Yeah. And there are a lot of new collaborations happening. So if someone from that team wants to do this, uh, you can already reach out. So it's called ledger.market.com. Yeah. If you type it on Google, you'll find it easily. 
There is a form in it, right? And yeah. it's it's in Ledger Live as well. If you go into Ledger Live, yeah. there's a form. There's, if you go to Discord, mm. uh, there's a Discord tab, and the first tab is called Ledger Market. And then when you scroll down, you can contact us, and then maybe you can work out to get something. All right, five more minutes. Uh, actually, yes, when Ledger Connect will be live. Uh, so currently, it's internal test testing. So beta testing is going on internally. And I think you know, before the end of this year, it should be open for beta testing publicly. And then it will be released in full production after everything, all the bugs have been resolved. Uh, Frank Harris. Oh, that's a lot of questions. <laughs> Frank, uh, I just missed a question. Sorry, guys. Well, pick up the questions after. If you have, if we can't answer your questions now, guys, leave them in the comments, and then we'll pick them up after the live. Frank Harris, uh, can't transfer XLM from Apollo to Ledger Live. Says I cannot transfer to myself. I added an account on Ledger Live mm. and on X. Uphold. I know there is a lot of issues with Uphold, like, but that's that's not on us, unfortunately. That's probably you should reach out to their customer service. If they can't create the transaction to send coins from their wallet to your ledger wallet, then unfortunately it's on their side. Uh, we we can help, of course, but at the end of the day, they still have your private keys right now, so they'll be able to like they're in charge of creating that transaction. Next is uh, J Random. Uh, I got an NOS Plus, and I'm confused with the BTC uh, address for my choices. How do I know which one to use, SegWit, etc.? Do you want to take that one? Uh, yeah, it can be confusing because there's like um, four, four different ones. Um, but yeah, like uh, most of the time, you can take the native SegWit one. Uh, that is by default uh, when mm. you create an account with BTC, and um, you, you'll be fine. It's just a difference of uh, generation of address, basically. Like, mm. and, but yeah, native SegWit. Yeah, security wise, they're all the same. Mm. They're all the same, yeah. And yeah. like some exchanges, however, like some old exchanges only support sending to your legacy account, right? Mm. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah, there are some specification, but mm. it's on the th side again. Mm. And, uh, okay, next is uh, strictly sports. Uh, thank you so much. Now I understand much better. And then if you have any <laughs> any questions, you can always reach out to us. We'll explain you. We are here to help you guys. So. For sure. Uh, Abraham, thanks, Ledger team. Welcome. Thank you. Thanks, Emmanuel, Abraham. Uh, when is Ledger adding XTC token? Uh, before end of this year, it's on the roadmap. <laughs> Everybody's working. He's getting both that, guys. Guys, follow us on Twitter. We'll, we'll definitely tweet when the, the app is live. Mm -hmm. Like, we'll definitely let the community know. Okay. Uh, when is Ledger uh, adding Casper token? I think Casper. Oh, Casper token? Casper, like Casper. Like because, yeah. okay, so but it's available as an app, right? But mm. not in Ledger Live. Oh, uh, I'm not sure. I'll just check. I think there is, if, if that's CSRP, yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. there's an app. Mm. So, yeah, guys, you can, for now, it's not supported by, by the Ledger Live app, but it is supported by the Ledger device. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a help center article that explains you've downloaded a Casper app, and there's a Casper web wallet, which you can use to manage your funds. And again, using a Casper web wallet with your device, it's not. Uh, like security risk is completely secure and can for now you can manage the funds in this way okay two more minutes guys because okay. we need to evacuate the room before 2 p.m. okay next is uh, uh, recite uh, besides AMS do you have a chat or mail support too thanks you thank you for support guys yeah, yeah we, we do, we do. Mm -hmm. you guys go to ledger.com support tab help bot and in the end you can select email or chat no, I can, we offer both. And the AMA is weekly, by the way, so you can also ask your question to us directly. And we do it on different channels each day, so mm -hmm. you can reach out to us on different channels if you want to have more information regarding this. Uh, Gerald, can you guys say anything about XRP and Ledger? Any plans in work? So XRP is already supported. Well, it's supported, yeah. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. Yeah. I, I don't know what you mean by uh, yeah. any plan. So XRP Welcome. is yep. already supported. If you're talking about XRPL or the tokens or trust lines mm -hmm. in Ledger mm -hmm. Life, we don't have any. Uh, roadmap for that yet, but maybe in future, but we'll ask the developers and let's see. Mm -hmm. Last question, probably, guys. Uh, Rick Russo, can I set up three additional nanos on the same desktop computer to begin investing in cryptocurrencies for my two daughters, granddaughter, or should I do it in separate three computers? No mm -hmm. problem. I can uh, take this. No, yeah. Go ahead. So it's, it. yeah. it's possible to do that, but you will see all the accounts in Ledger Life. The best way I would recommend is to create different user accounts in Ledger Life uh, in your computer and then install Ledger Live on each user account so you can keep them separately and manage the funds mm -hmm. separately. Would you uh, would you recommend to have like three different recovery phrases as well? Or just one recovery phrase that control uh, all these accounts? I think for now maybe you can have three mm -hmm. two like one recovery phrase for all the accounts. But mm -hmm. best way would be have three different devices, so three different recovery phrases and then you can save all of them and then right. give them in the end of the kids once yeah, yeah, okay. Cool, guys. I think we'll have to go because uh, we have a hard stop at 2 p.m. and we need to evacuate the room. But thank you so much. I mean, that was a lot thank of fun. You, it's always great. Thanks, Matt. Uh, nice. Thanks, Fringe. Uh, see you guys soon next week, same time uh, with different people, but the same.
F1 and we'll be there. <laughs> but um, um, yeah, and if you have any questions, you can drop the questions in the, in the comments. comments. Yeah, and we'll get back to you after the, the live. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Take care. Bye.